the tool we use to measure plaque. Uh, this is uh, how we quantify atherosclerosis with uh, CT angiography. It's a non-invasive test, a little IV. We inject contrast into the coronary arteries, and we can see not only how tight a blockage is in the form of stenosis, but through making three-dimensional pictures, we can look at the number of lesions, we can look at the plaque volume, how much plaque is present in each segment of each coronary artery, and we can look at the overall uh, coronary tree. So the combination of these things gives us the opportunity to quantify plaque and then follow patients over time with this tool. So the, the keto match, uh, um, what we did is we had a baseline study of 100 participants. Um, this, is the, this is the intro slide, but uh, funded by the Citizen Science Foundation. Thank you. Thank you all, especially to uh, Dave and Nick and others who really put this together. Um, so uh, so we, we know this um, issue, right? We have patients who adopt a, a, keto, a carbohydrate restricted keto diet. Uh, for any reason, and their LDL may go up. Uh, usually, uh, the, the lipids get better in many patients if they're obese or have diabetes, but the lean pa patients tend to exhibit uh, uh, increases in LDL and sometimes extreme increases in LDL cholesterol. And it's been of great controversy whether this is dangerous or whether this is just another way of metabolizing uh, energy in this uh, ketogenic uh, state. So we uh, looked at these patients um, with uh, uh, high uh, HDL, low triglycerides, and very high LDL cholesterol. We excluded patients who had genetic predisposition for high cholesterol, what we call familial hypercholesterolemia, and um, we uh, excluded patients who didn't have a normal cholesterol before they got into the trial. So they had to have normal cholesterol, no abnormalities, go on a ketogenic diet, and then have this extreme response. And that's the population we studied. The aim of the study is to prospectively evaluate plaque progression over the course of one year in 100 metabolically healthy lean mass hyperresponders. Uh, and uh, here's the baseline characteristics. We matched this against a population-based study. So we took a study called Miami Heart. They did CT angiographies, also read by me in my lab. Um, in a population of patients, just a random sampling. So we have a population-based patients, asymptomatic people. We looked at their plaque, and we looked, compared it to the plaque in our baseline characteristics of the lean mass hyperresponders. Now, lean mass hyperresponders are not familial hypercholesterolemia. FH, as we call it, is born with a high cholesterol um, and uh, unrelated to uh, their HDL and triglycerides may be high, may be low, um, but they know they have cardiovascular risk because they've lived with high cholesterol and, and not in a metabolically healthy state for many, many years. Uh, lean mass hyperresponders induced by diet and otherwise very healthy, metabolically healthy with a very good, good cholesterol, HDL above 80, and a very normal and low triglycerides. So a much different population.